Thanks for joining us first at four. I'm Andre Gasoreno. Several areas got the chance to see the solar eclipse from Texas to Maine. The great American solar eclipse wrapping up its path of totality just a couple of hours ago. And this is a look at the eclipse in Maine. Totality only lasting about two minutes there. Uh, we've got team coverage. Our crews set up in Kerrville, Bernie and San Antonio, keeping track of this special cosmic event. First, let's start with meteorologist Paul Morales, who is at Louise Hayes Park in Kerrville. Hey, Paul. Hey, hey, Audrey. Uh, you know, been here all day long. I saw the people come in and now I've seen them leave. But what happened in between was just, I would say, magical. I would say in this park there was probably 20, 25,000 folks earlier. But now, as you can see, all that's left basically is DJ AM Project. He is spinning the uh, spinning the hits or the beats or whatever. But notice everybody is gone. Now, I'm going to say this, though. For 20 to 25,000 folks that were here, there is no trash whatsoever. So way to go, Kerrville, and way to go, folks. And the folks that were here earlier, what a show. They were from all over the states, all over the world, basically. And I would say that we had just an amazing show. Matter of fact, I didn't expect for me to get a little bit emotional. I couldn't help but yell and scream, and I never do. Matter of fact, take a look at what the eclipse, what kind of effect it had on this young man. Kyle, it makes you just want to freak out, right? I mean, it really does. It's kind of a weird thing when it goes from daylight to dark like that. Yeah. It's like immediately, too. Yeah, yeah, like immediately, right? It was it was like somebody turned off the lights, right? <laughs> the sun is gone. Yeah. The sun is completely gone. Yeah. It, it is, it's right above us, and it's completely gone. And it's completely gone. Is this the, you were going to remember this the rest of your life, won't you? Yes, definitely. He is definitely going to remember that. I'm going to remember it for the rest of my life. And just to prove that we had people from all over the place, we got these young ladies with me. And y'all aren't here to see DJ AM Project, I don't think. No. <laughs> okay. What did you think and where are you from? I thought it was amazing, and I'm from Toronto. It was beautiful and moving. I'm from Salt Lake City. I'm from San Francisco Bay Area, and it was totally great. <laughs> totally great. That's why I would sum it up. Thank you, ladies. Appreciate you coming out to Texas. Enjoy your stay here in Texas. And you know what, Hannah? I would say April the 8th, 2024 is always going to be special to me. What do you think? Oh, my goodness. Paul, I don't even know how to describe things that you were. I didn't even know what to expect, but it was just, wow, um, breathtaking moments in Bernie. I think that's how you would describe what happened today. Um, there was literally people holding their breath as this dark midnight came over in the middle of the day, and we were actually able to capture the entire thing. So take a look at the first second of totality. Oh my God. Just cheers erupting in Main Plaza. The gazebo was the only source of light as hundreds of families sprawled out on the lawn, their uh, eyes turned up to the sky, just taking in this spectacular moment. Now, there were, of course, eclipse watchers from all out of uh, across the country, um, even from outside of the country. And, uh, you know, we did unfortunately have um, some disappointing weather today, and that's something that a lot of people, you know, had mentioned. But the moment of totality did not disappoint. A local San Antonio photographer, he said that he invested in equipment. Morgan Hinson, he, uh, we saw him out here with his big camera. He had hoped to create a linear timeline of this once in a lifetime event. It didn't happen, but I got a lot of good first contact, second contact shots. Um, even though there was a lot of clouds cover, like you said, um, but it was, it was still a great experience overall. I got some good shots. Um, you know, of course, some, some editing and stuff like that, get kind of that cloud coverage cleared out of there, but it'll, it'll turn out real well. And we will be hearing a more reaction from people uh, coming up, but I just wanted to talk about the numbers. So unfortunately, the number of visitors was down than what the city of Bernie had expected, um, but we're told that it has still been a really good boost for businesses on this Monday with occupancy rate at about 85% for hotels. Um, so, you know, it was really a, still a positive event for um, everyone in the town of Bernie. And I do want to mention that everyone I talked to, you know, even though the weather, um, it was very cloudy for most of it, they all said the same thing, it was worth it 
the trip to Bernie. Reporting live in Bernie, Hannah Tita, Ken's Five. Thanks so much, Hannah. Uh, taking a look at traffic, though, on I-10 at Comfort. This is looking east, so many leaving the hill country after today's eclipse. So a big backup of cars there. If you're heading eastward, watch out. And there was one high-intensity eclipse watching party where the action never stopped. Ken's Fives, Sue Kalberg lucked out and got to view the event at the Rock at La Cantera. And Sue, you say you have 500 new best friends. Absolutely. And you know, any time you put that many kids in an awesome venue like the Rock, and it's to watch a natural wonder, you know what? It is naturally wonderful, and even though we had clouds. Good, but I, I really didn't like it because there was clouds, but it would have been better if there wasn't no clouds. Is that what kids call extra? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it was very extra, right? Yes. yes. It, it was very awesome. So how was it? Good. Awesome. Okay. Awesome. Good. awesome. Awesome. Awesome and good. How about, what, what's your favorite word for what you just saw? Amazing. Amazing. That was amazing. <laughs> Absolutely. Who doesn't love remote control robots and all kinds of sciencey things for the kids to do? There definitely was something for kids of all ages here, all put together by adults who are passionate about inspiring the next generation of scientists who can make us all smarter. Now, coming up at five, we're going to talk to some of those grown-ups who put this deal together with an amazing amount of heart. They helped these kids reach for the sun, moon, and stars, make those space dreams come true. Live at The Rock at La Contera, Sue Calberg, Ken's Five.